Yo dudes, Arumakun episode 5 starts now. And the one character I've been anticipating the most ever since seeing the opening, Sabro, has been introduced last episode. However, he's found himself in a very dire situation because he decided to take the very bumpy route, which is the much quicker route, but also the much more dangerous route, to the finish line. And now he is fighting against the guardian of that valley. Very curious to see how he's going to survive this because I doubt he's going to die. He seems like he's going to be one of the supporting characters. Really interested to see more of him though, and also to see how Aruma is is going to survive all of this because he is a human being in a demon school, right? But hey, check it out. If you enjoy uncut reactions and you want to get some exclusive content that you can't find here on the channel, then check out my Patreon. The link is down below. Let's jump into it. The one who wants to be Demon King. That's Sabro, right? Because he's definitely aiming for that. He seems so last episode. Hmm. He went through some things, dude. Okay. Thanks for the reminder, narrator. I appreciate it, dude. Oh. Oh. It's going down the path that Sabro's on. All right, cool, cool, cool. So he's more than likely going to run into Sabro, right? <laughs> going to die before even becoming the Demon King, huh? That is a crazy looking beast, dude. Cutthroat Valley, that's the name of it, yeah. That thing is wild looking, bro. Wild looking, dude. Oh. Okay, Sabro. Weapon creation? That's his bloodline ability? Yo. That's cool. So the necklace he has, he can use to make weapons depending on what the material is. He has gold and silver there. That's a bronze axe, right? Little Sabro? Cheapy Sabro? Oh, what's his? That's his dad? That dude looks badass, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's his brother? Who's that? Is that him? When he was sick? Oh, what? Oh my god, my man making up a backstory. Oh, that was his younger sister. It is just fine. <laughs> Wait a second. So this man just had this, the narrators or whatever, just made up a backstory for Sabro and none of it was true. And the brother's a pacifist. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all about the status, bro. Makes sense. Silver time? Let's go. What's it gonna make? Okay. Okay. I like this character. My man just, it, it's some of the giant sword. Oh, damn. What's he going to make out of the gold? Damn, this Guardian's that strong, huh? I would assume Sabro's sort of a, a capable fighter himself. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That just gave us the scale of this creature. That sword was like a little toothpick to him, bro. Is that true or is that fake too, though? Is that real? I'm guessing it was real this time. Because he's a pacifist, he said. He said the brother's a pacifist. Oh, wait, what? I mean, I knew we knew he was going that way, but I wasn't expecting him to jump in like that. What are thou? <laughs> he just instinctually came to help, bro. Okay. Oh, maybe it. Oh, maybe it's his child. No, no. Stop, bro. I wasn't even thinking about that being the child because they look they look so different. But this thing's been alive for centuries, probably. That's why it has such uh, the hair, the fur being that way, you know. Yeah, they're not fighting you anymore, Sabro. Chill. There's that kindness. It's all working out for them right now because of Aruma's kindness. If it wasn't for him showing kindness to that, the child, th this wouldn't be happening. Nice, dude. Very cool. <laughs> Here we go, bro. Just like Asmodeus. He's going to show up with Sabro. Oh, they're both not there yet? 
I still can't get over Cone being in this, bro, from Bleach. <laughs> Damn, bro. Here they come. Are they getting a ride on the actual Guardian, dude? Yo! That should speak volumes for their rank, dude. Yeah! They tamed the Guardian of the Valley. Think about it, bro. Which demon in the past has done this? Think about it, bro. Bro. This is incredible, dude. <laughs> Look at Caligo's face, bro. <laughs> yes, dude. Yo, this is hype, bro. Sabro's like... <laughs> Yeah, begrudgingly had to put their names back on there, dude. Caligo would have been so happy if a room never came back, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I guess because they weren't... They technically weren't supposed to go down that route. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's Caligo himself, dude. <laughs> Dude, I hope their rank goes high, though, because, I mean, they did technically tame. <laughs> Yo. Clara is so good. Dude, Clara is such a great addition to this series, bro. <laughs> Enjoy everybody laughing at you. Yo, okay, I really, really like this character. Yo. Here we go. Oh. Not friends. Rival. But it could be a friendly rivalry, though. <laughs> Bet one. Is he going to be, like, the lowest? <laughs> I wonder, too. I hope you don't become food, bro. I just realized the owl has a little ta uh, tie, dude. Oh, and now it has, because he's a human, bro. What? Oh, did he have that a moment ago? I mean, and technically, Uruma has already made Asmodeus his servant. Heal all demon kind, and we know his blood heals, bro. The Golden Ring of Solomon. Okay, okay. The Book of Solomon. Sullivan's the one that... What the... Yo, it's one thing after another in this series, and I'm loving that, bro. Oh, wow. It knocked him out? What? Yo, you ain't putting a hand on Aruma, dude. It's protecting him. Oh my goodness. Oh, didn't it just take his... Oh, it didn't take his arm off. He felt its killer intent. It probably... Dude. It was a warning, bro. Yeah, it's like, don't you dare touch him, dude. <gasps> Chair demon. <laughs> How? Wait, what? What he feed it? He said, eat up. The gluttonous feeder ring. So it's not the Ring of Solomon. <laughs> That's right, they say that instead of cheese. And their first class picture, dude, right? Or do they already have a class picture? Oh, he's the lowest rank. Because right, they couldn't rank him. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, Clara. <laughs> There's a hot guy on the ground. All the girls are reading it. What do they feel about Aruma? There it is, dude. They keep focusing on her, bro. 
<laughs> so you thought, right? <laughs> the school anthem. Dude, you know how terrifying that has to be, being the only human there? <laughs> exactly, dude. Hmm.